So I do think we need kind of mentors and helpers to to uh, nourish that part of ourselves mm. that says, yeah, actually, the world is kind of insane. And I'm not crazy for thinking so. And then what can I do about it? Like, what am I called to do about it? To listen to that call requires courage. And I, in my experience, it requires help. It requires people to share what they've heard, like mm. what, what call they've heard. And, and you're like, yeah, I've heard that too. And, and maybe this person <clears throat> has been on this path for a long time and, and is familiar with some of the territory and, and the, the setbacks and the challenges. And, and then that person is qualified to mentor you also in living a life outside of the normal prescription um, helping you be strong when you can't be strong yourself. That So a mentor can do that and a community can do that too. And I think it's really important. Like I don't think we can be truly sane and effective without other people around us who are holding that field. And then add it onto that economic uh, difficulty because you know, often when, when people um, listen to the call of, of their purpose in the world, it may not be something that is highly paid. In fact, it probably is something that won't get them a job at all, or often is something that, that, that isn't going to make money in the normal economy. And so I think, you know, we need to have um, people with, with financial legacy, you know, inheritors and, mm. or people who have made a lot of money and have a change of heart. We need them to essentially fund the artists and the change makers and um, the revolutionaries um, I'm not talking about violent revolution here, yeah. but you know the, the people who are agents of change, um, like they need to be supported not just with moral support, but also with financial support. Like so, people with money need to um, really take on um, creating social enterprises and um, projects that give meaningful work to people who want to serve this change. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I mean, yeah, it's not just about changing your attitude. Like the financial yeah. problems that people face when they have a, a, a transformation are real. And, and not universal. I'm not saying like you have a transformation and you'll never make money again. And, um, I mean, there are like people already funding beautiful, beautiful things in the world. And there are people willing to pay for, yeah. for things that, that um, inspire them. And I, there is, like, yeah. so I'm, I don't want to paint too bleak a picture, but there has to be a willingness uh, among people to offer like real tangible economic support in addition to, you know, mentorship and community and encouragement. Yeah. Yeah.